Hello and welcome to the Battlefield 5 Top Plays. In today's episode we've got a selection of awesome clips, starting out with some sniping experts. The first few clips from Barrett are insane. Snipes on pilots, with two of these being on tryhard pilots. I just thought I'd start out with those because it's a bit of retribution. Moving on is Pages with yet another pilot snipe, this time on a Stuka flying away from him. Bang, in the back of the head. That's what it's all about. Next up, a slightly longer kill streak from Wontech playing on Fiel 652, putting together a kill feed at range. Look at these numbers starting to stack up. Awesome to see. Now, I thought that with the recent patch, DICE were going to be changing the way the skull icons worked in a similar way to what we saw in the alpha or beta, I can't remember exactly when, but where skulls would line up alongside each other to show the kill feed you were putting together. It seems as though this hasn't actually brought itself into the game, which is a shame. There we go, though. You can still see an awesome kill feed here, which was, of course, before the patch eventually reached us. Umar Kings is next up with three satisfying sniping streaks with this Ross rifle, getting himself a load of points in the process. Accurate stuff. Next up, he's moving on to a slightly longer clip, this time eight headshots in a row once again on Aerodrome. Really good this, especially when you're defending the sector and the attackers refuse to push, because all they can do is peek this little hill in front of you, and you can hit them all, just like this, and rack up a kill streak. <laughs> Enemies are entering A. Thank you. And finally, this one's going to be on Aras. Five headshots with one magazine once again with the Ross Mark III. Just a memes coming in with two clips. The first is a cross map nade launcher, not something you see every day. And the second, well, this is just absolutely insane. It's a 10 second Staghound versus Bomber shot. You see there, he fires a shot, misses his target, I presume, but it does end up connecting in the end. Also a bonus transport kill there to boot. There we go, there's the kill. Incredible. Never seen something like that before on Battlefield, but just to make it even more impressive, the guy that got taken out by the bomber sent him his perspective. Check it out now. Next up, we have three clips from the Great Abroad. This is going to be focusing on some close quarters infantry action with the ZK-383 and the Model 27. This is before the recent TTK change, so you will notice a little bit less recoil on some of the weapons and, of course, the damage drop-off being a bit more severe. That being said, it's still a really nice streak. On one of the 5v5 maps, I'm going with Provence. That's what I think it is. Never played them myself not really my cup of tea that's not why i play battlefield but some people do enjoy them for infantry focused gameplay a nice clip this one with some high accuracy The second clip is moving on to Operation Underground with what looks like the Suomi racking up a big flank, lots of kills against lots of enemies that are really slow to react. Yeah, 
And finally, something a little bit different, playing on the beaches of Pacific Storm, he racks up a selection of kills with the STG-44 running from cover to cover, causing mayhem in the enemy's attacking line. A nice clip here from Woe Gaming as he's playing on Marita, looking to completely break down the enemy team on Alpha Objective. He does exactly that and the objective starts to move. He then goes on the hunt for the enemy team and finds a massive pile of them just around the corner. Next up, a V1 clip. Again, not something I usually include, but I have included them in the last couple of Battlefield 5 episodes, which is a little bit unusual for me, but there we go. It's a massive point stack, though. I don't think I've seen anybody get this many points, even with a V1 bomb. Yeah, let it go ahead. Two clips from Steve stating the first is going to be 16 kills in 45 seconds using this grease gun, a few blind enemies to see but also it's this really sneaky position as the enemies push forward when you're defending on Marita you can get behind that little barn that has since been destroyed and then start taking them down. Using the grease gun with the silencer equipped is probably the best weapon to use in this situation or just go full out with an MMG. A load of kills though against some blind enemy players. The second clip is a 17 man kill streak in around 60 seconds with the grease gun once again defending an objective this time it's alpha on devastation he actually is a bit more active in this one though running through the objective and racking up some serious kills Moving on to a bit of Battlefield 1 for those guys who enjoy some nostalgic clips in the top plays we're seeing Fort Devoa map that I actually really enjoy playing even with all the grenades it can lead to some fun and this is the Fedorov Aftermath 
and a whole load of kills. Gas grenades everywhere. You could use the gas masks from Battlefield 5 in this game, I'm telling you. Why have we got so many gas masks in VF5 when we don't even have gas? This is a crazy clip though. So many kills, 2,000 points in that stack virtually. And then we're moving on to yet another Fort DeVoe kill streak. This time going back to the BAR. A nice clip as he pushes towards Charlie objective, finding enemies everywhere he looks and putting them all back to the spawn screen. And finishing off today, a clip from Medi FCB. This one is, again, Battlefield 1 Fort DeVoe with the Automatico. A weapon that on release was incredibly OP. At this point in the game's life, I really don't think it is. The SMG-08 is probably the weapon that is going to get that ticket as the most toxic weapon to use in the Assault class. The Automatico, though, is no slouch. Fast firing, easy to use, hip fire machine. And then, of course, if you switch out to a rocket gun and kill half the enemy team on a stairwell, then that's no bad thing either hopefully you enjoyed this episode of the battlefield top plays if you did leave a like down below if you didn't feel free to leave a dislike leave your comments and of course check out the players channels in the description thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next episode